During the summer of 1902, prolific fossil hunter Barnum Brown discovered the first bones of the skeleton of a huge meat-eating dinosaur on a hillside in eastern Montana. Three years later, in 1905, he collected the remainder of the specimen, consisting of about 40 bones in total, including much of the skull, and shipped it to his employer, the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Later that year, Henry Fairfield Osborne of the American Museum published a formal paper in which he officially and forever designated the skeleton as the type or name-bearing specimen of a new species that he called Tyrannosaurus rex. That skeleton, by definition the world's first fossil, the world's most famous dinosaur, stands here in the Dinosaurs in Their Time exhibition at Carnegie Museum of Natural History. You might be wondering, if this T-Rex skeleton originally belonged to the American Museum in New York, then how did it come here to Pittsburgh? The answer is simple. In 1941, Carnegie Museum of Natural History bought this Tyrannosaurus from the American Museum. The price? $7,000, worth about $150,000 in today's money. Although, of course, $150,000 is a lot of money by almost anybody's standards. When you consider that another museum purchased a T-Rex skeleton for $8.36 million in 1997, or more than 100 times what the Carnegie Museum paid for the type specimen in today's money, it would appear that the American Museum gave the Carnegie one of the greatest deals since the age of dinosaurs.